Good afternoon, everybody. It is the Dark Comic Nerd. Back to do another round of Let's Build. Has been a while, hasn't it? And that's because time. Time has been against us. I got new games on this channel, on my Dark Comic Nerd channel. I've been broadcasting a lot of Digimon Survive, and I've had a lot of outdoor stuff to do on my my memory garden channel so the thing is is that i've had a lot going on and i haven't had time to do much as far as indoor stuff but it's a rainy day outside so god is taking care of the plants for us hallelujah and i'm really happy about that and also for the water levels it'll bring back here to maine because a lot of people that are not me thank the lord are having problems with their um water system and their well so this is going to really solve a lot of that. First thing we're going to talk about is what are we going to do today? What are we going to build out of all this stuff? We're going to build what's in here. This is, if you guys can tell, this is, if you look up in the corner, the new Series 5. Yes, folks, they did come out with a new set of minifigures for Series 5. And we're going to talk a little bit about that a uh, bit more as we're building what's in this. Yes, it's already open. I know what's in it because somebody um, at work opened it up. Um, some little punk. And it benefited us in the sense that we got to know what was inside it. So that's why I picked it up. Um, one of the key elements about this, not only that they've gone up in price. They've gone up to six bucks per box. And that's the other thing. They're in a box now. There's also... Uh, a bit more to the pieces. We'll look at that when we get building. Uh, there's also new allies that don't do much of anything from what I can tell. They're just like ornamental pieces. Um, that's kind of what I've been going for. And there are only a couple enemies here, 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 that kind of stuff. So there's only about half and half. I think there's five enemies and three allies, but I'm not sure. Um, if you look at the box art... Uh, anything that has this little like, sparkle effect back here, or like on the raccoon and stuff, that means it's an enemy. So, so far from what I can tell, it's the three here, in this line up here, and then here, and here, and I'm not so sure about these ones right here. So, I'm thinking those are just allies that are just there to make it look a little better. Maybe they've gone through as many as they can. Hey, um, Lego, maybe you want to get off your butt if you're running out of new enemies to put out and put the old bag stuff out in some kind of collector series so some of us that didn't get the um you know the whole thing of series one can finally get those enemies back if you're not going to keep making you know lots of new ones but let's go to the what's in the back guys these are new ones this is from the previous series and this is from the newest one this is from series five this is from series four these are part of the expansion sets they're little extras that you can put your mario in this is the bowser jr clown car and then here's the goomba shoe uh this one is from mario 3 if i remember and this one i think we saw that for the first time in i want to say mario sunshine but i'm not positive about that we probably saw it at a different time if i'm not mistaken but i i could be wrong we'll just have to wait and see if i'm right or something and somebody could put that in the comment section these are future builds these are future builds. I'm not going to do them today, but I wanted to show them that I had them. They both run for about $9.97 at the local Walmart. Uh, where you want to get them from is totally up to you, but uh, I just wanted to show them off, guys. There is one particular thing I also want to show everybody. Um, uh, there is on the new ones where they are now saying, right here, guys, digital building instructions only. So that could be a problem for us going forward. Um, we'll have to see how it all plays out. That's the only thing I can tell you. Now, in the meantime, guys, I'd like to get this set up so I can sit down and do this with you guys. So let's take and pop out what's inside this. Let's take one more look at the rest of the box, guys, just so you can see what's on the back of this. Um, there is a new peach starter set that came out. Yeah, so remember when I said a little while ago that I would heard from one of the vendors that Lego was dying, uh, that Lego Mario was dying. Get lost, you little bug. Um, apparently, he was wrong. Whatever he heard was wrong, wrong, wrong. They renewed, and they're going full blast, full forward. Um, and bringing in uh, Peach now, which, if you want to know anything about that, her go over to my friend Jeffrey's gaming channel. Harass him. 
to put out something on his Lego channel. And maybe we can get him to put that build together or his wife can put that build together and they can show that off because I will not be picking that up for a while. So let's get this stuff out, guys, because I'd like to position the camera a little better so that we can, um, I can sit down and build this. Now, I would assume this is the instructions, but, um, yes, okay, we know it's instructions good, because if it said all digital, we would have to dig out my other tablet, so that would be the, that would be the kicker to that. So, one last look at the box, guys. Like I said, we're using natural lighting today, that's why I'm not using my, I'm not using anything else. Um, all right, we're going to try to get this about as good as we can get. I think that's going to be where it is. And I'm going to pull my chair up to you guys. We're not going to move anything further than that. Ugh. I have got to get me a more comfy chair. So. So we won't try to move this around too much, guys, on you. And... Hopefully you'll be able to still see how I put this little bugger together. In case any of you are curious, here's what we managed to get in here. I already knew ahead of time. We are going to be building the Red Yoshi. That is why I said, mine, I want it. Um, so in case everybody's curious, guys, I'll let you take a quick look. Here is what we have for new characters. I guess that's a baby Yoshi. So that is an ally. Here's the Red Yoshi. Here is um, one of the Toadstools. Um, then we got the Hammer Guy. And we have the... Um, does that really say what I think it says? Toady Spy. Does it really say Toady Spy? Oh my gosh, it says Toady Spy. I actually read pretty good upside down, guys. So that's why I know this says Hammer Bro. And this one says... Um, I am not even sure if I could read that right side up. Waddle wing? Waddle wing. It's such a weird thing. It, my brain doesn't translate it to a real word. Um, this is uh, Nabbit. It's like this evil rabbit thing. Uh, this is a blue shy guy. And then we have, uh, let's see, what do we have here? Purple toad. Okay, so most of your allies are right here, and then they did the enemies down here, guys. It's a pretty good way of showing it off on there. And as you guys can see, if you haven't been able to tell from the guide thing here, there is multiple bags now, and so there's a bit more to the building thing, and that's why I think they decided to go with a box format. So, Anyway, I am going to do one final thing, guys. <clears throat> We are going to start building a little of this. We're going to put this out. I'm doing this with my camera because live streams are unreliable because my internet provider <coughs> spectrum <coughs> sucks. Um, oh, sorry. Terrible, terrible thing stuck in my throat. Um, and the thing is, is that I am... Um... Oh, what do you know? This actually, guys, does have a little... He actually does have a little... Um... Usually it's like the bounce plate. Where did it go? I just saw it. This little thing right here, guys. He actually does have one of those. So I'm kind of curious what effect that has in this game. I'm thinking it'll have a good a positive effect of some sort. Okay, guys. I'm taking a quick look at how we're looking. I actually think I don't mind adjusting up the camera a little bit more. There we go. And hopefully you guys will be able to see everything as I build this sucker. So, I hope everybody's doing good today. It's a nice rainy day outside. Um, I consider it a, I suppose, positive thing in the sense that I am going to be able to um, spend the day in doing this with you guys because it's raining outside. So, now we're going to, I'm going to build, I'm going to go, I'm going to, you know, jump the gun. I'm going to build my, uh, if I can find the right pieces. Where are my pieces? Uh, I'm going to build my base first. So, and the thing is, is that I'm going to take one last look at the camera. Yeah, this, so it's got a little egg icon, guys. It's got a little egg icon on it. So that means that this must be a help thing, like some of the other stuff we have. Um, I just want to see 
yeah, it's not the best in the world. So we're gonna we're gonna move you guys forward a bit more, and we're gonna let you guys see a little closer because I I don't want you guys to miss any of what we're doing. Okay, so we need to stack up. Oh, we actually need to do. Okay, so I do need. Whoop, we got a little piece that was trying to run away, guys. It landed right on its side. So uh, that kind of was weird. Um, okay, so we need it like this. And so I'm trying to figure this out because it's weird. Um, is it going to hang off the side? What the heck's going to happen here? I guess it kind of hangs off the side. And then the other one's right here. Yeah, there's a little hang off the side, I guess, going on. I am... Am I doing this right? <clears throat> no, I did not. Oh my gosh, these things are such a pain when you don't do them right. Oh, actually, as much as it looks like I did it wrong, I guess I did do it right because it shows in the thing that that little dot in the back there is supposed to be there. So... What do you know? I actually did it right. I wasn't even sure. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Um, I apologize in advance, guys, if this isn't the best angle to uh, watch this at, but I, I hoped it would be. Um, like I said, we can't live stream because we found that YouTube live streams are notoriously sucky. Notoriously sucky. And so that makes things difficult for us. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to build this base, and I'm going to take another quick look and make sure that we, we're making sure that you guys can see as we build how things look. But this is kind of cool with the uh, little landscape type thing they gave us now. I'm going to build a little cactus. I work around some real cacti at work. Okay, so two of those, and then they really don't explain. Okay, wait a minute. They actually explain a little bit better than previous instructions, which kind of sucks because I think this is going to take, it's going to be harder and longer to do these videos, and that's going to be a problem um, because these videos are going to be long, and, and I, like I said, can't, uh, live streaming gives me some benefits. I've got so many little bugs in my house. Bye bye, little bug, leave. Um, that it's like, I really do like the high def I get from doing the regular camera thing. Uh, but live stream gives me more free time. So it's going to kind of suck. Looks like I need to build two of these little things. Okay. So where's another rounded one? There's another rounded one. Um, then another one of these. Wish I put the overhead fan on because I'm getting a little warm, but it's it's not all bad. Um, yeah, so here we go. And I'm going to actually turn the overhead fan on, guys. It shouldn't cause too much problem. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. I'm hoping you guys can see me um, how I'm doing with that stuff. If we had turned it on and there had been some... You know what, guys? We will. We'll, we'll add a little extra light. I don't know if that'll change a lot, guys, on the camera, but we just added a little extra light. I like um, <clears throat> natural lighting, if ever possible, or my camera light really is really beautiful because it's got LED, but... Um... Okay, so... Okay, I get how we're going to do this. We're going to do one like this, and then we're going to do the other one right on top of it, like this. So red, we're, it's so weird to have a red Yoshi with a freaking um, cactus in the background, of all things. So, and then we got this little tiny piece, I'm pretty sure is the right one, that we're going to put up here. And that makes it look a bit more like a real cactus. That's cool. Um, and now we need to put some of these little dots where one of them was trying to escape from me earlier. Put one there. This light green thing goes over here. And then we have a few more dots dotting up the landscape. We'll turn it to you guys so that you can see me as I'm putting these little gray dots on. 
And then we have another one that goes right in front of this one. If I can get it in there because I got big fingers. And there we go, guys. Um, and then I have to make this little, uh, like, cactus thing. Um, okay, so there's a little one like this, guys. And um, we're going to put that off to the side for a second. So I got this. And it's got this little pink flower top on it. It's like a succulent type thing. With succulents are these plants that um, particularly grow well in desert areas and stuff, guys. Uh, they feel like they almost have rubberized leaves. Um, and it looks like there's going to be one on every side, I think. One of these little, these little pointed things, guys. From what I can tell. See what we have for extra parts when we're done. I wish if we had another one of those pink flower things, guys, I would so be putting that on top of the cactus. It would look awesome. So there's our little succulent flower type thing, guys. And we're actually going to stick that right on top of here. That's what it wanted. So but uh it's a joke from uh there's a longer version of that in spongebob um when they were supposed to be revealing something about the krabby patty formula it's, it's, it's a really funny gag okay guys so here's what our base looks like hope you guys enjoy that looking at that um thing is is that we will be putting our yoshi on that when we're done okay so we'll set him off to the side blue feet first because i think it says yoshi like blue feet um da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so not much going on today, guys. I'll fully admit it. Did a Digimon Survive broadcast already. If you guys are watching this on my Dark Comic Nerd channel, which where else would you be watching it? I hope you guys, if you like any of the Digimon stuff, might have checked that out. All right, so I need a white. Where's the white one? Okay. I'm going to assume this is going to be his belly. Um, so we're going to put that right there. There's his base. Um, so yeah, I've done one broadcast. I'm going to do another one shortly. Um, and then I'm actually going to do some setup videos where I am now starting this new thing where I'm going to try to, um, set up videos that are going to be, um, scheduled in the future. At a, another predetermined date to show up. I think this is where his arms are going to go, guys, if I'm not mistaken. Here's his butt, I think. Oh, did I? No, they didn't actually tell me to put that piece on. You just have to look at what they gave you and then kind of do the math. So you have to put this thing on so that then you can put his butt on. Makes sense. Yoshi's got a kind of pointed rear end because he's supposed to have a tail. I was right, guys. We are going to be putting his arms in next. It's been a while since we had a character with like nice little arms like that. Um, like I said, I don't know much about this character. I would have to probably look at some of the stuff on this. I would have to like look at the manual on some of the new stuff. I would guess as they... That oh, snaps right in there good, don't it? As they um, do the peach one, if they are going to change things, like add characters that help you... Um, to defeat harder enemies or something like that. And because remember guys, it's, it's a point based game. It's, it's based on, it's a game and it's based on getting you points. Um, whoever gets the most points wins the game. So, um, but I'd have to be curious to see what, you know, what the point is of the whole thing. Um, come on, where is it? Why does something look wrong? It's not me. It's just the way it looks on the diagram. So, so far he's coming together pretty good guys. Um, then we got one of these, and then it looks like this little piece goes on top, and this is supposed to be something else, I would presume. Yeah, I'm really supposed to connect these together, so put them. Okay, it's connected. And then, oh, and then I take it, and I slap this little whole thing goes right on top of this one here. Ta-da! There we go. Woohoo! We got more of the Yoshi together. Yippee! Um, then comes the whole part, guys. You, you see his body and stuff where we've where we've got him, um, but we need to put his head together. He needs a head, dang it! 
Um, so the thing is, is that we are going to have to figure out what pieces we need. La, 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 Um, yeah, okay, I got to make sure I get the right ones. Because it's got to be these ones with the two points that are out. But yeah, this series, guys, apparently is not doing as bad as they originally thought it was going to, apparently, because it is still must be making money of course it doesn't hurt that the lego company up the prices of everything i'm sure that never hurts a company when they jack the prices it's inflation shut up shut up you guys are basically just hi we know the world's coming to an end let us fleece you fleece you fleece you fleece you uh i mean come on I mean, I buy into this stuff, guys, but here's the thing. Uh, for starters, my friend Jeff and his wife are the ones that kind of started doing this stuff. I just joined in, and um, that's why I only get certain ones. You guys don't see me buy every single one, just stuff I like from growing up with Mario, which is, this is all nostalgia bait. It's, it's meant to be like, you love Mario, don't you? You love Mario, don't you? Sure I do. Buy our crap then. You got it, master. You know, it's like, that's what it is. It's nostalgia bait. It's hoping to play on your, the good old days of growing up when games didn't suck and it was just Mario and they didn't say, what about the Goombas rights? He's brown after all. Br you know, praise the brown people. You know, it's a Goomba. It's literally considered the enemy and a monster in there. I'm surprised that somebody hasn't come out and done something where it's like, we're going to start a movement. You know what? Save the Goomba. Save the Goomba. You know, I'm just surprised we haven't gotten to that point, folks. Because we've all, because people in society have lost their bat freaking crap mind. It's sad and it's pathetic and it makes me want to hurl. Ugh. So it's like, yeah, I gotta admit, I kind of bought into this now debate, but it's it's not such a bad thing. I put his face on, or I put a part of his face on wrong. Oh my God, you gotta walk around with a backwards face. Wow, that flung right off. I'm lucky you didn't stab me right in the eye. I mean, that wouldn't happen. And if it does, then stop being like my friend, Jeff. Stop hitting yourself in the face with Lego parts. That just makes you look stupid. And trust me, all he needs for that is his mouth. And that'll take care of the rest of it. Uh, let's see. You know what's funny, guys? I bet you wouldn't notice this normally, but this little piece, I hope you guys can see, it's got nostrils. Nostrils! So you have to make sure you actually put that one on right. But yeah, I'm loving doing this, guys, like this with the um, the camera. And stuff because I can do it in a higher resolution. And look at his face coming along so well. His face looks so nice. Um, the thing is, is that like I said, it it sucks up a lot of time on my my camera phone. So that's the only downside. I don't think there's a real way I can screw this up, and I hope not. But I'm I'm really trying to make sure that the it's on the way it's supposed to be. But it's very difficult. So I'm I'm going by the the instructions, guys, of where the way it should look, because it should only look a certain way. I think I've got it. I think I finally figured it. Because now, if I look at the side of his face, I look at it from the side of you. It looks r right like a Yoshi. It looks like it should be. So, but yeah, I try not to bring too much of my political stuff in here, guys. So I won't talk about how the world is going bat crap crazy. But hey, what do you know? I did find an extra pink thing, guys. I found an extra pink one that's going right on top of the cactus. Darn right it is. Boom. Oh, can it? Oh, you come on. You gotta be able to go. There we go. Doesn't that give it a nice look, guys? That that's that's a nice look. Okay, so we got all these extra pieces. We've got something that Wow guys, look at this. Looks like they gave me half a Lego thing. Like literally something happened to it and I ended up with half of one of these little things. That's funky. Really funky. Yay, funky. Um, so yeah, I have extra parts. Where's the bag of remembrance? We'll get to it later. In the meantime, these little bag here, guys, that a lot of our parts came in. It's gonna have to go into that. I'm pretty sure we're done. 
we're going to stick his head to his body. Because it's creepy otherwise. Uh, let's see. And I'll even take the little half piece. Why not? So, um, all right, over there. Stay. If you fall, I'm going to hate you for life. Um, okay, so here's his head, his completed head, guys. Everybody, everybody worship the talking head. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is, if everything works out right, and I figure out how to do this, I would imagine it's, is it here? I think I got his arms up in the way. So, yeah, I'm going to say it's like this. The funny part is if I had a if I had a better look at his face, I can't tell if his his if he's supposed to go further back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure right here. Um it's like this, right here, so that these two parts here on the back of his head face directly over the center of this based on what I'm seeing. So here's the completed Yoshi everybody, just to give you everybody a good idea what we're looking at. And I gotta go shut this guy up on the radio that I'm listening to because I don't like what he preaches. He doesn't preach from the word as much as he preaches from his own personal opinion. And I don't really find his personal opinion something I'm something that I would like to listen to. Um, I really want one of these nabbits. They look all the figures look cool except for the toady. Oh, toady! I thought it said toady spy. It's just says toady. I'm so looking, guys, for the uh, allies. That's my big thing. That's why I'm buying this stuff. So, all right, guys, let's put this on. It's supposed to be right like that. And there we go. That is our completed project, guys. Just to give everybody a good idea of what we're looking at. And one more turn. And actually, yeah, he's looking pretty, pretty nice to what I'm supposed to be. But actually, he's supposed to look a little like that. Or he's supposed to be pointing like that. So, there we go. And I'm going to take a look. I'm going to get up now. I'm going to look at my completed work, man. Because I'm awesome. Um, all right. All right. Let's see here. What's it look like? Oh, yeah. That came out great on the camera, guys. I hope you're all enjoying that. That looks fan-freaking-tastic. Um, we'll turn the camera so you guys... So, the camera is a little bit more on him. And there we go, everybody. Doesn't that look nice? That looks fantastic. Took us a little under half an hour. Uh, fantastic. And I love this new stuff, guys. And I don't know what it does for the game, but I like it because I like the characters and I like Yoshi. So I definitely wanted one. I would have preferred the classic green one, but that one is something you can only get in one of the bigger expansion sets. So there we go. Well, if you guys can see that it took almost half an hour to make this, you can imagine how bad it's going to be when I make one of the bigger ones and how much room that's going to suck up on my camera. And I had to remove a lot of files from this camera just to have enough time, enough space to do this video. So who knows until we do the next one. But there is a next one coming up, and there's a lot more coming up. So I hope you guys are having a great afternoon. I want to get this posted. Thanks for joining me for another round of Let's Build. Thank you all the new subscribers. We have 127 subscribers. Woohoo! That is awesome. Um, I really wish I'd done more for my 100 subscriber celebration. To be honest, the way we're going, we might be to a 150 or 200 before we know it. But um, I'm still going to be trying to put stuff out. But as you guys know, time has been my enemy. Um, so who knows, but I really appreciate all of you and I appreciate your time this afternoon and I really recommend that everybody go out there, look around and check out, um, your local stores for the newest, uh, series five Lego Mario. And, uh, if you guys get anything cool, let me know in the comment section because I just love to know. In the meantime, guys, have a great rest of your week, everybody.